this look right here. I'm super excited to be filming another video for you guys because the babies are coming. So um, I'm gonna be trying to film as much as I can this week and next week. Um, just have pre-recorded videos for you guys because I don't know how much time I'm gonna be able to have once the babies arrive. I'm so so excited. Um, I can't wait to hold them in my arms and just kiss them and you know be a mom. <laughs> but anyways, I just came up with this look super quick. Um, I'm just getting ready for today. If you guys have any specific looks you guys would like to see from me, please let me know down below and I will sure film them for you. If you're interested in learning how to recreate this look, just keep on watching. Hello everyone, so as you guys can see I have already done my face and my eyebrows so let's just go ahead and start with our eyes. I'm going to be applying a primer and I know I'm using MAC Soft Ochre. I know guys I need to start using other primers but I just love this one so so much and I will be using this to carve out my eyebrows as well. You guys can check out my video down below for how I do my eyebrows and see this step. The eyeshadow that we'll be using today is the Morphe 35O palette. I forgot how amazing this palette was. And if you haven't gotten a hold of it, you need to. It's a must. I will be taking this shadow that looks a lot like my skin tone. And I will be setting my whole eyelid so the base that I applied before is not going to crease. And it will last a lot longer. And it will be a lot more um, easy to blend out other colors. Taking this brown yellowish tone color, I'm going to use it as my transition um, color and add it to the crease. I am using a blending brush and just going back and forth to really get in that um, area right there. Um, you can go back and make it as dark as you want, but again, I'm using this as a transition color. So it's easier to blend out any other colors since we do want to do a gradient effect with this look. Then I'm going to be taking this brown reddish burnt, oh, I don't know how to describe it, but I'm going to be applying this all over my lid and this is going to be the main color of our look. And as you guys can see, I will be um, deepening up the lid color a lot more so I'm going to go um, back and forth to get the intensity that I want to get and I use this shader brush from MAC that I use all the time because I feel like it packs on eyeshadow so good and it's my favorite to apply um, my lid color but then again I'm going back and forth to really get it as dark as I want I'm passing my crease just a tad bit but not too much um, because I will be blending out that color with the blending brush that we started out with. I didn't apply any more product on it. I'm just blending out those colors so there's no harsh lines in between. Then taking the exact same lid color, I'm going to go back in with that fluffy brush and just apply that to my crease. This is just going to smoke it out a lot more. But I don't want to use a darker color or anything like that. I keep, I want to keep the same um, color, just bring it up a lot more. And with the blending brush, it's just going to give you that smoky effect. Taking a different brush, I'm packing on the same eyeshadow to just intensify it a lot more. And making sure everything is blended. Go ahead and create a wing liner and apply some lashes. Taking this mustardy color, I'm going to apply that to the crease because I wanted it to have um, some kind of yellow undertone um, so it wasn't so brown. So I'm just going to apply this to the crease on top of all the colors, just blending it out. 
taking this deeper red brown shade I'm going to deepen up the outer corner to just define the makeup look a lot more now to brighten up the brow bone area I'm going to take the lightest shade of the palette and apply that to the brow bone with this shader brush then go ahead and apply some eyelashes I'm using the Ardell's 113 I do have an in-depth tutorial on it that I will be linking down below so you guys can check that out So the eyes should start looking something like this. You can go ahead and leave your eyes like this if you like it, but I'm just going to go a step further and put some eyeshadow in the lower lash line. I'm going to be taking the mustardy color with the um, brownish um, transition color that we used in the beginning and just apply this to the bottom lash line. I'm going to deepen it up a little bit more with that red tone that we used on our lid and just to focus that on the outer corner. To brighten up the inner corner, I'm going to be taking this e.l.f. shadow brush and apply that to my inner duck area. And I'm just going to blend it out with my fingers so it doesn't look so harsh. But this is just going to brighten up the whole look. Then on my waterline, I'm going to take this nude Rimmel Coal Liner and apply this um, so it opens up my eye a lot more. Don't forget to apply mascara to your bottom lashes and you're good to go. Once you are done with your eyes, they should look something like this. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to the rest of the face. I didn't apply any blush, so we're going to go ahead and apply that. But first I'm going to take this Becca... Um, champagne pop highlighter and apply this to the highest points of my face which would be the cheekbones the tip of the nose a little bit on my temples my cupid's bow and my chin keeping it in the same color scheme I'm going to take this orangey color and apply this to my cheekbones very lightly because it's very pigmented so just have a light hand with it but I love how it all came together um, with the blush. Now moving on to the lips, I'm going to take this Milani lip liner. I think it's called Spice, but it's number 9 for those of you who are wondering. And I'm just going to line my lips, overlining them just a tad bit, not too much. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill them in as well um, to give a base to the liquid liners that I'm going to be applying. So since I couldn't find the perfect shade, I had to mix a couple of liquid liners. Um, I'm first going to take Dose of Colors Truffle and apply that all over my lips. And then I'm going to be taking Lolita 2 and applying this on top since I did want it to be a lot more orangey, but not too much. So these combined together made like a really nice um, orangey brownish color and then to give it some type of ombre effect I'm gonna take bear with me and apply that to the center of the lips and with my finger I'm just going to blend it out so there's no harsh lines in between then apply some Urban Decay setting spray and you're good to go thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys on my next one bye